Good afternoon and welcome to Wine Decoded's bathtub winemaking project for 2016. It's now day four. So the fruit was picked on Thursday, it was crushed on Friday. Uh, it's now Sunday, so we've been going for a few days now. The fruit's been in the vats since Friday. And this particular vat is our whole bunch fat. So it's actually a whole bunch sandwich. So it's got some crushed fruit on the bottom. About half the fruit is whole bunches in the middle and some crushed fruit on the top. Yesterday we noticed that it was starting to go a little bit volatile so the aromas that we were getting were kind of like nail polish remover. It's not a huge concern at this stage in the ferment but we wouldn't want it to go too far. So given that that was occurring we decided to actually inoculate this particular ferment and threw a little bit of yeast in it yesterday. So today, we can just hear it start to tick off and the yeast is starting to do their job, chewing sugar, producing alcohol, producing carbon dioxide, and we can smell that too and sense that when we, when we smell the ferments now. Uh, a lot of that volatility is, is sort of blown off. There's, there's only a, a little whiff of it there now. We've got a thermometer in here that's telling us we're at about 21 degrees, which is fine. We do a fair bit of cooling with it uh, initially just to get the temperature down to kick off with because we don't want it to be too hot to begin with. If it's too hot to begin with, in the peak of the ferment, it'll be way too hot and the fruit might start to get a bit of a cooked character. So what we're going to do now, given that this is active and starting to move, is just give it a gentle pump over. It's, it's now about five in the arvo, and we're, this is just the first pump over it's had. Other than that, and adding some yeast to it, it's just been sitting here. Um, so we've got this stainless steel sieve in here. It's a big pipe, and we'll, we'll show you a picture of, the, uh, of the, uh, the strainer bit at the end. And there's a hose from a pump in there that is, is going to allow us to cycle the, the liquids around and just gently, gently irrigate the cap of this ferment and, uh, and just allow some of those liquids to cycle through the entire tub. And we're doing that because one, we want to just make sure those bugs, the yeast, are sort of through it, are distributed throughout the entire vat, but also to help just extract a little bit of the colour, flavour and tannin. So we'll kick that off, we will show you what that looks like. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to point out that what we've got in here, if you have a look, is still uh, an incredible number of little whole berries. Um, this is the crushed fruit that was on top. You can see some skins that have been fully crushed. You can see some seeds in here as well. And if we push down, that's a petiole from a, a leaf. And if we push down, you'll, you'll see just and here some bubbles coming out it's very hard to push down because of all the solid whole bunches in there but if you see those little bubbles there that's a sign that that uh, ferment's just kicking off we're not going to do too much of a pump over but uh, we'll give it a little bit and potentially in the next couple of days what we might actually do is get someone in there to stomp on those whole bunches and start squashing them a little bit and extracting some uh, some juice. So the juice level's not too far below the surface, but just a little bit at this stage. So here we go. We'll turn that pump on. So I hope you can hear us over the noise of the pump. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is not introduce terribly much air, so I'm just holding the hose on the surface and allowing that liquid to just distribute over the cap and uh, give it a little bit of a wetting. Now just gently, gently, gently. And uh, you can see already there's a fair bit of colour picking up in this ferment. So we'll do this for around about five, ten minutes, probably just five actually, and, uh, and that'll do the trick. So I'm getting plenty of yummy, rich fruit characters coming off this 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 uh, this ferment. It's smelling good, and uh, 
we're pretty happy with the way things are progressing. We'll just keep monitoring it over time and doing little things here and there like these pump overs or plunging or stomping with our feet. Uh, but we'll keep you in the loop on all of that and uh, let you know how things are tracking. So thanks again for joining the Wine Decoded and Spa Tub Wine Making Project for 2016. Our Yarra Valley Shiraz is looking yummy and uh, we're looking forward to sharing with it, it with you in a, uh, in a year and a half or so. Cheers and bye for now.